Hey guys, this is Hallie with Bag Fishing. I just finished week one in my quest to catch my first winter steelhead. Any information I find along the way regarding steelhead fishing, guys, I will definitely share with you in hopes you can catch one if you decide to target them. This week, I drove many miles to explore some coastal rivers, the Nehalem River and the North Fork of Nehalem. I chose these rivers to explore based on proximity of fish hatchery programs and also just to learn about new fishing areas. Many fishermen keep names of rivers a hush-hush, just like secret. But on the ODFW website, it lists Oregon's top steelhead rivers. This is no secret. Join me in my adventures to catch this elusive, anadronomous, fierce fighting fish that starts as a rainbow trout. All right, guys, good morning. Guess where we're going? We're going on a trip, baby. We are going to a coastal river. Let's get some gas first, fill up that uh, we can explore. All right, this is the beginning of the second week of me trying to go steelhead fishing. Expensive gas, man. Especially you have to fill up premium. All right, excited for the trip today though. Hi there. Hi. Um, premium fill, please. Thank you. All right, thank you. That's foul hook. Not good. When you explore new places, guys, you find things like you never believe. Look, this thing's huge. This is huge. Look at that. Probably gotta be one of the oldest trees around here. Pretty awesome. Man, I don't know if this is a sequoia or what, but the, the trunk size of this thing is huge. This is a wide tree, biggest tree I've ever seen. But I'm gonna walk across it. Here's the edge. One, two, three, four. Four paces. That's that's 12 feet across or something like that. At least 10. And that's massive. Does anybody know what kind of tree this is? Is this a sequoia? The redwood? That's pretty cool. Alright guys, so we've been just kind of driving around looking for certain spots on the river. Uh, river access for for fishing, but it is lunchtime and uh, I'm gonna be a little bit bad today Check out what I'm eating That looks delicious doesn't it I haven't had a, a corn dog in a long time <laughs> but you know when you're outdoors and just roaming around with no plan and your day's just free 
this is gonna be really good. I, I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Mmm. Nothing. Nothing beats a good corn dog, man. Mmm. And the view that I have. Mm. Enjoying the day. Pretty. Mm, this is really good. Somehow food always tastes better outdoors. I don't know. What do you think? Alright, we'll see you a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this. Enjoy the, the sun beating on my skin. Just gorgeous over here. Beautiful. Nice background. Oh yeah, get another bite here. Mm. All right guys, just finish our lunch. Onward, Christian, we are moving and found this uh, beautiful stretch of uh, river here. The only problem is how to get down there. But it, yeah, just uh, making, making a mental note. All right, let's go to another place. All right, this is one of the coastal rivers that I'm visiting fairly wide. It's really pretty. The water's uh, fairly clear. You know, we haven't had that much rain, so you can see the bottom right there. But you know what? I haven't fished yet, so I got to get my uh I got to get my line wet somewhere. But still looking for places to uh fish. I know uh, I have some friends that go steelhead fishing and they can probably take me to some places, some holes, but I'm going to try to find out myself, discover all the little spots here and there. And when I catch one, I'm sure I, I will really appreciate it um, once I hook one up. We'll just see how long it's going to take. but. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit more gratifying when I when I hook hook one up. But you know, this is like um food for the soul right here. Man, it's just gorgeous out here. Beautiful. Man, I just feel re-energized. Pretty awesome. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a guy way across there. I don't know how he, I don't know how he got across the river. There's two, there are two guys across the river. There must be uh, like us. I don't know. This is pretty wide, so I don't know how they got there. Maybe they have a boat, but they're uh, definitely steelhead fishing. This is a, a boat launch, but uh, this is a uh, heck of steep. Probably only a drift boat. Um, you can slide down here or a, a sled, small sled, but yeah, what people do to, to get steelhead, I guess it's all worth it. I'll just walk down here. This is pretty steep. Here's a little ledge right here where, th where the boat, uh, has to go over or, or drop from then goes down to the water but you can see the ground has a lot of skid marks something was dragging on there all the way to the top <laughs> here's another good spot
Looks pretty deep over here. Right by the bank over here, I saw some like little trout or something. So maybe we can get a little action if we can't get uh, any any bites with steelhead. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's try this spot. It's like a pretty deep hole right here. Where's my bobber stop? There it is. never know guys you never know that's right there in that bay that's pretty good We tried, so I've been hiking quite a bit, and uh, just to try some access points, because I don't have a boat, so. Bank access is what we're looking for. And like I said, once I find them, we should be able to catch fish. Oh. Somebody left this. Man, who leaves these things over here, man? Come on now, guys. Take this home. If you pack it in, pack it out. We don't need this in our rivers. All right. Let's head on out of here. All right, guys, thanks for coming along on this journey with me. Um, just exploring the river and, uh, you know, just trying to find bank access. And we didn't catch any fish today, but, you know, we caught the beauty of nature. Anyways, guys, if you like this content, please consider subscribing and um, we'll get you out some more. All right, guys, so yesterday we went to uh, explore the Nehalem River in North Fork and you know what I found out was 
on the lower uh, part of the Nehalem, there's a lot of um, areas for drift boat access, floating and so forth. And the river's fairly wide. So, you know, it's not like you find any holes down there in the lower river. Um, that is up to Nehalem Falls uh, campgrounds. And then from there, northeast, you will find a little bit more river access. That's what um, I was, what I found out. And that becomes a dirt, not dirt road, but um, more like a rocky, pebbly road. And you have to have a SUV to, um, to drive on that because you don't want to mess up your um, sedan. So definitely an SUV is um, a suggestion if you're going to drive up that, that road. Um, I think that's Foss Road. It leads up to Highway 26, and uh, there you'll find more river access. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you for uh, watching this episode of Back Fishing. Please comment and consider subscribing if you like the content. All right, we'll see you soon. Later.